The New York Marathon is the biggest race of the year. It draws in some of the fastest runners, but it also brings out some of the best cheer squads in the world. So it's time to hop on a plane and head east. This is a runner's weekend in New York City. What's going on everybody? Just made it into New York City for New York City Marathon Weekend 2023. I'm really looking forward to some fast racing, meeting up with my friends, and hopefully getting a chance to hang out with some of you guys. Right now, I have a little bit of time before my first activity that I'll be doing today. So I'm gonna get in my workout for the day. That's gonna be a six times, six minutes at threshold workout. Now, if I were running the marathon, I definitely wouldn't do a workout like this, but I'm just in town to take in the festivities and I gotta make sure I get in the work that I need to for later on in my racing calendar. So let's get to this workout. We've hit rep number three. I'm gonna turn it around and head back up north. We should have a nice tailwind to zero wind on the way back. That's it, six reps complete. Now, I'm gonna turn around, and back to the hotel, and then get ready to head over. Me and my friends at Pioneers. Made it over to Brooklyn, just under the William Burr Bridge. About to roll up to the Pioneers Shakeout Room. Just leaving the Pioneers pop up now. I ended up that I just missed the run. They were leaving like right as I got here and I just didn't have the energy in me to try and chase the shakeout run. Cause it's gonna be a long weekend. There's gonna be a lot of shakeout runs to come. Instead, I did have a really nice chance to have a long chat with Sid in there talking about what he's doing with the brand, where he's been going, what he's trying to do. Now, it's kind of early, but I'm already very tired and it's gonna be a long week. So I'm gonna pace myself and try to go to bed. Good morning, everybody. It is a little bit before 7 a.m. here on a Friday, New York City for New York City Marathon weekend. Today's gonna be a really busy day. Right now, I'm heading over to start it off with a shakeout run at the Adidas Clubhouse. All right, I'm running a little bit late, but it's right there. 
The clubhouse is a collab spot between Runner's World and Adidas. The space is decked out with an open area for gathering, a shoe display, including the very rare Adios Pro Evo 1 and the brand new Supernova Rise, and a runner confessional, a porta potty turned studio where you could share some of your favorite embarrassing runner moments. Upstairs, they had a fuel station with runner snacks, a recovery zone with Normatec boots and Theraguns, bag check, and some vintage issues of Runner's World on display. The group for that morning was pretty small, as is to be expected for a 7 a.m. start on a Friday before a marathon, but I did run into my friend Pat, who I met earlier this year on a multi-day trail running adventure in the Rockies, and it was good to catch up for about a mile with him before I had to leave the group run a bit early to make it over to my next stop. See you later. They're still running, but I'm gonna have to turn around because I'm already gonna be late, but I gotta go pick up my bag from the bag check at the clubhouse and then head over to Tracksmith. Tracksmith has been hosting media only events at the past couple marathons. And I've kind of been really liking these as they're much more comfortable and intimate. We had beautiful light for this run along the waterfront in Brooklyn. And afterwards, there was pancakes and coffee. I had breakfast with Tina Muir, who has been on my podcast and I on hers. And I had a chance to catch up with Drew, who I first met during one of my sub three marathon attempts in Los Angeles a couple years ago. That was a lot of fun. They've been putting on these like media shakeout runs events at the last couple of marathons. And for me, they're a lot of fun because that's where a lot of the people that I see at all the different races, people that I work with that are my friends uh, tend to be. So it was good to be able to reconnect with some old friends and make some new ones today as well. Now I've got a little bit of downtime before I'm gonna head over to Bandit with Ashley. But until then, what I'm gonna do is get back to the hotel, another wardrobe change, and I gotta find a copy, a print copy of the New York Times, because apparently I'm in it today, quoted as a source. Ashley is too, so let's go find that. Just left the bandit pop up. Man, that place looks amazing. And the New York collection looks absolutely incredible. They're doing such a good job. I don't know how they're moving so quickly and so well with the size of the team that they have, but they are just, they're just killing it. Now, I gotta find Ashley. I lost Ashley, but she says she's somewhere nearby getting some food. So I'm gonna find where that is. It is a little bit after three o'clock now and I was planning to head over to the expo today in between Bandit and the place I'm going next, but I just really ran out of steam after a lunch, had a really delicious veggie burger, and now I'm very full and content and I just didn't feel like rushing 
because I also don't want to be late at all for this next event that I'm heading to. Heading over to Laban Midtown, which is a place where New Balance is hosting a lot of its bigger events. And the one that I'm going to today is a live taping of Allie Feller's podcast. I'm super excited. I've been listening to her podcast for years. One of my favorite running podcasts out there, but I've never seen a live taping. So I'm going to go do that next. Seeing a lot of friends here today. I wasn't expecting to be here, so that's a nice little surprise. And I'm just incredibly impressed at how many people are here to see Allie. It's not a surprise, but it's always amazing when this many people turn out. Look at this. What's going on guys? Hey. What'd you think? Hey. So good. That was a lot of fun. Hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's not an act. You really got them. Alright, that was a lot of fun guys. Now I'm gonna head back to the subway to go do another shakeout run with Arkham. My final event for Friday night was a shakeout run with ASICS at the Fleet Feet Columbus Circle featuring Laura Green. I first met Laura a couple of summers ago after a very hot Falmouth road race, and we've worked together on a number of occasions since. We've run in Boston, Boulder, and now New York. And I've also had a chance to interview her with my friend Tommy Runs for the Relay podcast. I was really hoping to be able to catch up with Laura at this event, but I should have known better. She has an enormous following and everyone wanted to say hi and grab a selfie. So it was pretty much impossible to get near her. For the event, we ran a few miles in Central Park, which is a very dark place to run, except for the finish line. And afterwards, there was food and beverage for everyone to enjoy. That was such a fun event, guys. Thanks everyone for coming out. It was so great to meet all of you and run with you. So many selfies, so many stories from you guys to hear about, and I just love to meet you guys. I didn't get to eat, but they did send me home with a couple of bags of some extra fries. So I'm gonna hop on the train now, maybe stop by a pizza place or two on the way home, and then get some rest, because it's gonna be another big day tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It is about 7.30 a.m. here on a Saturday New York City Marathon weekend. It's got another busy day on the schedule. First thing that I'm gonna do is jog over to Central Park where I'm gonna watch the USATF 5K Championships. It's gonna be Shake Out Central here today. So I've made it into the park now. This is where I've been watching this race for a few years in a row now. I like it because you could see the runners coming through here and then I can follow them down the hill and I get a little bit of the hill to help me try to keep up with these fast pros. Race kicks off in about 15 minutes. The youth race goes off first, and then it'll be the pros for the USATF 5K Championships. Let's go. That was a giant bat. Oh, dude. And they're so fast. 
just think I pulled a hammy. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you in person, finally. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna go catch up to Kurt, say bye to him, and then head back to the hotel, drop off this camera, so that way I can then go to the mega shakeout with Believe in the Run. We're back at Lavon Midtown, where the event was last night. We're back again. The event tonight. <laughs> Looks like the run already left without me, so I'm gonna try and catch up. Find my way to the front of this pack. This is all still the same shakeout run. What's going on, man? What's good? How am I gonna see you? Awesome. I'm running hard. I'm still not in front of the shakeout. This is crazy. So many people. like a thousand of us dude so the people run new york guys that's right that's right the people run the city here Woo. that was fun i mean i don't even think you call this a shakeout run at this point this is incredible believe in the run did such a good job of getting all these friends together that was a wild event so great to see so many people there enjoying the running community now drew and i are gonna head over we're running late so we're gonna try to run to get through our time we're gonna join tina muir for a plogging event oh, hey guys oh, hi. Hi. all right we're here it might be too late though Let's to see Oh, that's nice. That's... We made it. We made it. We've got our trash bags. We've got gloves. We're ready to pick up some trash while we run today. I'm just so not even used to looking for it. Everyone else is doing a much better job than I am. I gotta start <laughs> focusing. For the most part, this is pretty nice. It's a nice way to kind of spend some time. It's relaxing in a way. Only thing that I don't like so far is when the trash is wet. That's a little bit gross, but overall, fine. I got gloves on.
Just finished up picking up trash, clogging with Tina Muir and Drew Whitcomb. But uh, now I'm gonna head back to the hotel, clean myself up a little bit, and then uh, quick shoe change, I'm gonna head over to, to Queens for an event with On. Over in Queens, On was hosting an event with my friend, Jakey Cho of Righteous Eats. I first found Jakey on TikTok and we initially connected over our shared Korean heritage. But Jakey was more than just a dude showing Korean stuff at his parents' house that just made sense. He was doing work in the community to support small restaurants and food vendors during the pandemic. And he was also a brand ambassador for On. I eventually had the chance to interview Jakey on my podcast, but it wasn't until today that we actually met in person. This event was held at MoMA PS1, and it wasn't a typical marathon weekend runners event, but that's what made it so special. It brought together food vendors, dance performances, music, and the running community. Overall, it was a space where the entire local community, marathoners or not, could feel welcome. tickets to go to the historical society there is a marathon exhibit that's there but trains got a little bit delayed i left from the last event a little bit too late lots of excuses all my fault but the museum closes in like five minutes so they weren't letting me in there so instead what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna head back to the new york roadrunner center because that space was awesome you get a lot of great marathon history there and I only have my GoPro, so I'm gonna try and film it again with my nicer camera that I have with me now. And then uh, after that, get some food and uh, just get ready to watch the race tomorrow. Earlier in the day, when we met Tina Muir for plogging, I noticed that the New York Roadrunners had multiple displays of New York marathon history. The collection was both extensive and exquisite. And it was a perfect way to get myself ready to cheer on all the runners at the marathon the next morning. If there's one thing New Yorkers love, it's special VIP treatment. And one of the most exclusive runner spaces you can be invited to is a MasterCard Priceless Start Wave. And it starts after the wheelchair waves, but before any of the professionals. A couple years ago, Alexi Pappas was in this wave. And this year, 2017 New York Marathon champion, Shalane Flanagan, got to start here as a pacer for some dude who I guess is pop culture famous. Also in this wave this year was my friend, Ashley. And with the way the timing worked out, we got to see her before the pros came through. And at this point in the race, she and her friend pretty much had the entire marathon to themselves. Now, I've known Ashley for a few years and to put our friendship into context, I think it might be helpful to explain that there is a bit of tension between traditional print media and dudes like me who make YouTube videos. Ashley was one of the first people in print journalism to see what I do as valuable 
since we've met, Ashley and I have run races or covered events all over the world, and it's always good to see her on a work trip. Ashley's favorite race is the New York Marathon, and I was happy to see her get this red carpet treatment. Later on in the day, we were able to see more of our non-pro friends, like Ben Johnson, who is as generous as he is fast. He paced me to my first sub three marathon. And that race has dual distinctions. Not only is it one of my fastest marathon ever, it's also one of the slowest races that Ben Johnson has ever run. We saw Tommy Runs, a friend who I've gotten to work with extensively over the years and now get to work with regularly as part of Relay. Alex Flilidi is the founder of Meta Endurance in Europe, and I've had the pleasure of covering the same events as him in Chamonix, Austin, Budapest, Tokyo, and now New York. And then there's Megan and Megan. Like Alex, Tommy, and Ben, these two are also faster marathoners than I am, and they are two runners who I also get to see everywhere. Whether it's for our group run in Baltimore, celebrating after a race in Houston, or staying warm in a tent in Boston, their positive energies make me light up whenever I see them. Hella Sadib is another person who I see everywhere. The man has endless energy and a seemingly endless travel schedule. I really don't know how he does it. Emily Heller is a fellow running shoe reviewer, and she's one of my favorite people in the space. I wish I could see her more often. And then there's Thomas. If there is a ringleader for this ragtag bunch of friends, Thomas is it. We're technically competitors in the running shoe review space, but Thomas has always treated me like a brother. And last but not least, Drew and I found Herm on the course. Alex Hermanson is pretty new to running social media, and I only started watching his content late this summer. But his million dollar smile and warm hospitality make him everybody's best friend. This was the second time I've been able to run with Alex, and I'm sure it won't be the last. By this point, Drew and I had been cheering on runners for about eight hours. So it's time to head over to Bandit for happy hour. Their space converted from pop-up to after party, and we were able to get our photos taken in their MTA-themed portrait studio. And then it was back to Central Park for the finish line after dark. Even though the roads start to reopen and the aid stations are long closed, the finish line stays open for those final finishers of the New York Marathon, no matter how long they take. Here, I found more friends like Martinez Evans, Aaron Azar, and her husband. New York Roadrunners does something really special that I'm not sure I've ever seen other marathons do. And it brings out all of the things that makes the running community great. Empathy, inclusivity, and energy. I've been traveling the world to run in places I'd never dreamed I'd see. And I've had experiences I didn't think were possible. But in all these adventures, I've never been alone. These are the friends who made all that travel just a little bit less scary. I was so happy to see them again this weekend, and I can't wait for the next running adventure. What's going on?